Hey, what's up, Raider Nation? Welcome to another video for the Black and Silver Way. Tomorrow, I'm going to be going to Oakland, and I'm going to be over there for the weekend all the way till season opener. I got a nice little vacation from tomorrow till Monday. So the next video that you guys will be seeing is going to be vlogs every day at Raider Mecca. I'm going to try and grab some interviews with super fans like uh, Dr. Death, the one that's going to be signing, try and do the petition to keep the Oakland Raiders the Oakland Raiders. And uh, just a few cool things that you guys could see. I'm also going to be, uh, you know, at a few parties. So I might try and get some coverage out there, you know, with some fans. It'll be fun. It'll be different for this channel. And I also want to thank all the fans. I have a list right here. A few things I wanted to talk about today. It's just kind of like a random video. Shouts out to all the fans, guys, of this channel. I'm at uh, 1,520 subscribers. That's awesome, guys. I started back in January at zero. I was really happy when I had 23 subscribers, and now I have 1,500 more. So it definitely shows that hard work pays off, and, uh, you know, I love to do this for you guys. And I'm just glad that you guys like it, too. I'm getting a lot of views, a lot of comments every time now. Like, in a day, I get a 1,000 views on videos, and that's pretty ridiculous, guys. Um, every single, you know, team has a super fan on YouTube. And we all do blogs. There's about four of us for the Oakland Raiders. And uh, I'm just glad that you guys support my channel. And you guys make sure to support everybody else. We're all a team here. We're all a, a one family. And uh, I just am really glad that you guys enjoy to watch my channel. And uh, I'll never stop doing this channel. As long as you guys give me good feedback and you guys want me to keep doing it, I will keep doing it, okay? So that's what I want to talk about on that part. Um, I don't understand how people sometimes, though, go off in the comments when I give my own opinion or I mess up on saying a name. Uh, yesterday, a person told me, you're the most stupid Raider fan I know. You're a fucking idiot. You should stop doing videos and throw away all your Raider gear because I said Joseph, Jason Tarver. I said Jason Tovar instead of Jason Tarver, our defensive coordinator. I actually uh, mispronounced his last name and the guy went off in the comments and I also said, uh, I said Reggie Bush on one of the things instead of Reggie Wayne, but you guys weren't tripping on that one. I, it was an honest mistake, but sometimes guys, when I'm doing these videos all the way through, I don't want to go back and redo the video just because I messed up on like two pronunciations of things. You can go ahead and comment below and let me know like, you know, hey, you did that or you did that. I obviously know because I watched the video back, but uh, I'll try and keep the mistakes at a minimum guys says i'm just here to give my opinion and sometimes i'll mess up on a name and you guys that you know uh go off in the comments on me calling me a bitch calling me all this stuff i just block you guys i'm not here to argue with you guys we're all one family here and this should be just a blog spot where we could all talk about the team that we love not hey let's uh pick out everything that this guy does wrong and dislike his videos you know that's just stupid guys it actually uh it really annoys me so i'll just make sure to block you if you have something negative to say i could care less if you're blocked from my channel so the people that you know always look past the two mistakes three mistakes i do during the videos thank you for that uh, i'm not i'm human i make mistakes so do you guys and just don't be a bitch about it and that's all i have to say on that um I'll be giving a detailed review on an authentic helmet, guys. I got this really, really cool face mask. If you guys remember Ray Lewis's Shredder face mask during the Super Bowl last year, I have that exact face mask, authentic. I got it for $100 on eBay, brand new. It has all the hardware and everything. I'm going to be getting a Riddell at Raider Image, an authentic $200 helmet, and I'm going to put it all together. I'm going to try and get a dark visor. It's going to be one beastly ass helmet. I'm also going to be meeting Lincoln Kennedy and a few other OG Raiders like Will Willie Brown, maybe even Tim Brown, I don't know. This Raider Mecca event usually has a lot of OGs there that have been to the Super Bowl, like Cliff Branch. I'm going to get all of them to sign it, only the OGs. I know I'm going to be meeting some rookies this year at Raider Image, but I'll have them sign something else. I don't want them to sign my helmet and then be on the Raiders for this year and next year, and that's it. So I'm only going to make people sign the helmet that have been to the Super Bowl or that are very important to the franchise because that helmet's very expensive. I'm going to get a glass case for it, and I'll give you guys a nice detailed review when I get get it so uh, that's what I want to talk about there I'm very excited for the helmet and uh, Terrell Pryor on Instagram yesterday put a picture with him you know in the number two jersey and he says uh, I promise that will get us a win and uh, the game better be sold out this Sunday for the Jaguars so he's very confident guys that we're gonna win the Jaguar game I can't wait to see how he plays out there at home it's gonna be a very loud crowd I'm gonna be in the black hole I'm very excited for this game and I'm very excited for this week and uh, just I want to see Terrell Pryor grow like all you guys do. So I think Terrell Pryor is very confident. He took a lot of blame for last game, and um, you know some of the a lot of the turnovers, guys. 
it was his fault, but you know, he's he's just growing, guys, you know. And uh, some people in the comments also below say, why, I, this is what I have to say, why hate on Pryor for his second start in the NFL, guys? People in the comments are ruthless, acting like Terrell Pryor should be perfect. He's learning, guys. Yes, he threw away the game. Yes, he threw some really important interceptions that shouldn't have happened. But it's fixable, guys. This guy's scrambling in the quarterback, uh, scrambling in the pocket, making plays for us, throwing downfield, running on, uh, running for the first down. He's everything that we need right now, guys. And you guys act like we have such a good quarterback, um, you know, competition going on. Matt Flynn is not going to be able to do anything. And my prediction was that Matt Flynn was going to be during the game, and the Colts we would have got destroyed if Matt Flynn was in that game. It would not have been seven. 17 to 21 guys I guarantee it would have been to 10 to like uh, at least 10 to 21 or maybe 7 to 21 he probably wouldn't even have been able to get us down for that extra field goal to make it 10 so Terrell Pryor's learning guys just uh, like calm down in the comments guys you guys are acting like oh you're saying that this game is accept acceptable Terrell Pryor is not looking good he threw away the game guys it's his second start in the NFL give the guy a break this is a rebuilding process. We've sucked for the last 10 years. I don't care if we sucked for this year again. It's not even going to matter. Let's see. Uh, it's going to take time. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to take time, and a lot of you guys know that, but some of you guys act like it's going to happen overnight. Terrell Pryor's barely had a full offseason of reps. He hasn't even had a full offseason reps. He had, like, partial offseason reps this year. Um, also, I hated during the Colts game, I forgot to say it last game, Darius Harabay always did that stupid little fucking thing he did after like a 10 yard completion with the Raiders acting like that's like an insane thing that he got a, a catch. It's his job. He's a wide receiver. He needs to be catching automatically and he would be celebrating like uh, when he caught a five yard pass on the Colts game. He got up all crazy, started yelling all crazy. Dog, Reggie Wayne was putting you to shame, dog. With those slants, Reggie Wayne was ridiculous. Darius Hayward Bay was celebrating more than Reggie Wayne was. So Darius Hayward Bay, that's why I really did never liked him. Very cocky, very energetic off of one catch. So you need to chill the fuck out, Darius Hayward Bay, because honestly, you need to work on more of your footwork and your hands. And like I said, vlogs, vlogs are going to be all week this week, guys, at Raider Mecca. I'm very excited. I'm going to try and get some interviews with some people. And it's just going to be a different kind of vibe for this channel. So that's it. I have to close tonight. And I will be on my way to Oakland tomorrow. So I'll try and get you guys a video tomorrow. If not, definitely Thursday. Thanks for staying tuned to me, guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe now. I do Oakland Raiders everything. All right, Raider Nation. Leave a like, comment, and I'll read it, and uh, I'll see you this week. Peace.